Okay, Stuart, you've been at um, United's press conference this morning and I uh, believe uh, Fergie's been talking about his striker situation. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, it's, it's a, quite a theme of this season, but, uh, you know, they have scored 44 goals, so mm. it's, it's, a, it's a cracking weapon they've got and uh, they've got back to the, the four strikers uh, that he's, he, well, sort of, I suppose he's pioneered that idea in the, in the late 90s, as we all know. And uh, he's finally got back to that, and, and uh, the succeeding from it. He, he was talking obviously about Chicharito and his goals at, uh, at Villa Park, and what a game changer he was, and what a great uh, super sub he's. Mm. Comparing him a little bit to Ali Solskjaer, because he, he he's, he's always said that Solskjaer was very much uh, um, a player who sat on the bench and didn't just watch the game, just mm. didn't wait till when it was. Am I going on now? He studied the game, so he knew when he came on where he could influence. And he thinks Chicharito might be a similar kind of player. Um, this season he's talked a lot about Van Persie and, and Rooney as well. So he did get a little bit of time on uh, Danny Welbeck, who mm. scored a game for England. Yeah. Um, he's England's top scorer in 2012 with five goals. And didn't get much of a looking with United. And, and also, not only doesn't he, he get something of a looking, but... He's been generally playing wide left, and mm. Fergie thinks he's been a little bit unfair for him mm. on him. But you know that's the sort of the drawback of four strikers. It's very difficult. But he did kind of say, you know, in '99 they all, uh, you know, they all had an influence and an impact. And as long as he can give Danny enough games, and Danny feels though he's contributed, then it'll be it'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, you've you've met Danny Welbeck obviously a few times. What sort of mentality do you think he has? Will is he a sort of player who will be happy to play that bit part as Solskjaer perhaps was, or do you think he'll be thinking, "Hold on a minute, last year I was one of the main men, now yeah. I'm sort of getting, you know, the scraps, so to speak." I, I don't think he'd be content, but he won't be banging on Fergie's door every week because he, he is a down-to-earth lad. Uh, he's a lovely guy. He's sensible, mm-hmm. and I think he'll say, "Yeah, I had a great year last year, but it was my first year." United as a first teamer, he'd been at Sunderland and uh, you know laid the foundations a little bit there on loan. So I, I don't think he'll be kind of um, he, he won't be happy about it, as you would expect. And, uh, and I don't think Fergie would be happy if Danny was yeah. happy about yeah. it. You want players who are hungry, you want players who are a little bit fed up because they're not because that's when you do make an impact. Mm. Mm. Um, but I don't think he'll be banging his door down at all. And, you know, he's, he's 20, 22 later this month. Mm. He's got plenty of time left. And, uh, you know, we compare him to, say, Solskjaer. Uh, you know, everyone seems to think that Ole was content to be this super sub and yeah. play a bit part. And, all right, he was the hero in, mm. in the new camp. But, you know, he's, he was a very, very serious professional. And I don't think he was happy with it at mm. all. Right. But again, he wasn't one of those people who would yeah. kick up a fuss. Yeah. Where, whereas the, the manager, for instance, mentioned Andy Cole this morning and yeah. saying that he'd drop Andy and uh, he'd be grumpy and groaning in, in a mood for three days. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. They're just different characters, but yeah. you know, I think they're all the same. They all want to play. Yeah. Um, obviously, on paper, things are going well for United, uh, top of the league and what have you. But again, there were a few warning signs, weren't there, against Villa? that they're really having to sort of dig deep to get these results. And going into Norwich, what, what did Fergie have to say about that? Well, he said he's got to end, basically. And he said that we will improve this defensive... Uh, he, he calls it an Achilles heel, and it certainly is that. Um, it's, what is it now? Italy is seven times out of 11 matches they've had to come back from a goal behind or goals behind. Now... As he said, you know, it, it won't, it's not a gimme that they're going to do it. Mm. And he certainly proved it against Everton and, uh, and Spurs that, you know, they couldn't overcome it. So you can't go through a season being like because the percentage will tell you that you'll get, uh, you, you'll trip up. Well, you know, you think of how many times it's happened so far, if that continues throughout the season, mm. United would trip up three or four times more. So they can't afford that. Mm. Um, so it's got to be put right. I don't quite know uh, how he's going to put it right because he, he he has said in the past he doesn't really know what's happened because there isn't a constant theme. Yeah. There isn't um, something definite that's happening. Yeah. So 
it's just one of those. It's uh, it, it might just suddenly, a we'll, uh, month's time, and we'll all be saying, oh, do you remember that? Yeah. Uh, and we used to go, go behind, and, and it's just mm. righted itself. Do you think it's British? Really I mean, obviously that will play some on the defence, but, I mean, do you think he's a, a bigger miss than people are sort of appreciating him? Um, oh, I think he is a big miss. You know, he, he was an influential uh, player and, and, and an opponent that, you know, opposition players did fear. Um, I don't think you can put it all down to that because, you know, Johnny Evans and Rio Ferdinand uh, had a great half se- second half of last season uh, and were very influential in how United, you know, took it to the wire in the end. So, you know, I don't think um, you can blame it can all on Vidic. But having said that, yeah. if he comes back, the player he was last year, the year before, yeah, it's going to be a plus for United. OK, and just finally, um, birthday for Paul Scholes. Mm. Um, obviously, remarkable career continues. What would Fergie have to say about him? Well, it was interesting, actually, because earlier in the season, and now I will have to check the actual quote out, I had this idea in my head that Fergie said this will be definitely Paul's last season. Mm. He thought Ryan Giggs might go on for two years yeah. or more, but he definitely thought that this could be Paul's last one. But he kind of sort of said this time, you know, let's just... His advice to him would be just carry on as you're yeah. carrying on and we'll see how it goes. Um, he seems to, Paul seems to have accepted now that he's not going to play mm. 30, 40 games a season, which I th- it, it, that was a bit of his beef. Um, you know, when he retired, he thought, you know, I don't want to have mm. 15 matches a season. I think he's come to terms with that. And the manager, you know, described him still as the best passer in the business. Yeah. So why would you retire? And you know he's not going to be influential in every match. We know that. But what Paul can give you, I don't know, a dozen matches and more a season uh, could be vital. Mm. And he's 38 and uh, doesn't look it and doesn't uh, play like it. So long may it continue. Okay, great stuff.